All right, thank you for joining me today, guys. We are going to be looking at the Tatawe Cigar, the Kebaguan series. This is the Kebaguan Imperialist. I've already lit it. I kind of messed up on my videos, so I'm sorry. Uh, so far, it's, it's, it's a 7x47. It's a 47 ring gauge, 7 inch. It's a Churchill style. Um, the wrapper is from Ecuador, but the binding and filler is from Nicaragua, and it's manufactured in Nicaragua. So I'm pairing this today with a coffee, just mid cafe. I, li I like. I just wanted a quick coffee. Uh, I ran out of supplies here at my house, and so I lit it up. So far, really, really, uh, very good cigar stench. And I say stench because when you do smoke cigars, it, it you know, the smell lingers for quite some time. But it's real good. I let this today with one single match. You guys would be proud. I did do a V cut today, as you guys can see. Got that V cut going on right there. So again, here's the cigar, guys. Oh, I'll try to get that better looking. There you go. And uh, it's a good, it's a good, decent Churchill. I haven't had a Churchill in quite some time. Can't wait to smoke this. So. Um, Right away, uh, at the light, those first couple flavors that I got was real, real pleasant. It was probably one of the sweetest tasting cigars I've ever had. Now it's starting to taste a little bit more bitter. A lot of pepper. But that smell is, is real pleasant. It's real nice. And so I'll see where it's at. A couple minutes. A uh, couple minutes. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I've been screwing up my entire videos all day, so bear with me, guys. Be right back. So right now, I haven't gotten much past the cigar since I paused the video, but it's really, really oily. Um, it's I don't know if that's because I've had it, you know it's been sitting for a minute, and that could be my fault. Um, I don't have a humidor just yet. Again, yeah, I don't have a very like, I keep my you know, temperature in my house consistent. It's, it's nice and warm. It's never really cold. I don't get a lot of moisture, even when it's wet and cold outside. Um, I don't keep it in direct sunlight. You know, I keep it stored. But uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's affected the flavor of the cigar. You know, I've never really had a messed up cigar before. But again, this is the longest cigar that I've had sitting for a minute. Usually, I, I don't let my cigar sit for more than a couple of days. You guys know more about in the video watching and you know more about humidors let me know because i'm still i'm still again learning i don't have all the cool little trinkets here and there i don't have a torch lighter or nothing but so far it's a pleasant smell it's nutty uh it smells almost like toffee like a like chocolate in in coffee and it's i like it um i can't explain it just i'm getting a lot of pepperness and a lot of nutty aftertaste. The aftertaste is real nice, but the taste coming in through that draw, it's real oily. And uh, I don't know how to explain it. I guess just very cigarish. So we'll see where it's at at about the, the quarter of the waypoint, and then I'll do it halfway, and then I'll do the end. And so bear with me. Okay, so I had to open the, the side door. It was getting a little too smoky in here. Uh, don't want the woman killing me later. Um, about the quarter way point of this, you know, beautifully constructed Churchill. The only issue is I'm not liking it so far. Um, I detect nuttiness, but it's an overbearing amount of oiliness to it, and it's it to me it's not very pleasant. If if I had to, if I was at the very end of the cigar and it smoked like this all the way through, which I think it's. I'm hoping it's going to get better. I don't think it's going to get better. I'm pretty sure I'm putting this at the bottom of my cigar list. as one that is my least favorite, and I probably will never get it again. Again, you know, i got to give the cigar a chance. It also could be because I've had it for too long without a humidifier. And so that, that's, that's on me. You know, I should have had it right away. It, it, am I willing to try it right out of the store? Sure. But... You know, I've had some cigars that have been sitting about just as long. And I have them in a bag, right? I have them stored and 
they taste wonderful, right? And it, I don't know, maybe it's just this particular cigar. But again, it, it's a lot of oiliness and a lot of nuttiness. There's really not much going on for it um, as far as that. And when I did fill the wrapper, it was a lot of oil, oily, very oily, and a lot of oily smell to it, too. So I'm going to get about to the halfway point. I'll let you guys know an update, and we'll go from there. So I am just about that halfway point. Cigar is still very oily. It's a lot less oily at this point. Um, it honestly, to me, doesn't have a lot of taste characteristics. There, uh, the aftertaste is is good. The smell of it is is oily too. Uh, it's a mild cigar. It's got a little bit of a, a kick with the tobacco on the, the tobacco high in it, the high side, but it's it smokes real mild. I was reading reviews on it. Um, a lot of people like it, but again, it's probably because it was sitting for about two weeks not with the humidor. And uh, I've seen these little. So watching actually a video right now on YouTube as as I'm sitting here in between breaks. And uh, there's something called Boveda that I can get, and it's like a uh, humidor packs, and I think I'm going to be doing that, just little packs, because, you know, I don't have a big humidor, but as long as you keep it sealed, it's not a nice, you know, I have the premium quality bags, right? You throw it in there, it'll be fine, and I think that's what I do, because I don't carry more than, I think, five cigars at a single time, you know? Um, I'm not going to be storing these uh, more of a every other day to every every three day smoker sometimes i mean it, it, you know i smoked one yesterday smoked one today so um sometimes a daily it, it just depends you know i've got addicted to cigars so um smoke's not bad it's real easy to draw it's just it's the flavor itself is is not very pleasant and the cigar hasn't gotten i it, it's not as oily at the halfway point the only time i really enjoyed this cigar was at the very light up the flavors that I got, real, real nice. The aroma that I got, real, real nice. And now it's just nothing with this cigar. So I'll get about to, you know, three quarters of the way, and I'll probably put it out and I'll give you guys my final review on it. Okay, so I've reached the about the third quarter way, give or take. You know, it's it's close. Um, you guys can already see uh, just quite a bit of ash. Um. The cigar began to redeem itself, and so um, it's honestly a lot better. I actually finished my coffee in the time enjoying this. So overall, uh, this cigar, you know, it started off on the very first light, real nice, real pleasant, had a great smell, had a great taste, but that sh that ended so quick. As soon as like the first, I would say, like. like it was crazy. It was like the first couple centimeters of the cigar started tasting real oily. And then from the very beginning to about halfway, real oily. Real oily right there in the very beginning. Again, at the beginning of the start, real, real nice. Oily all the way up until about halfway. Now, it's still a little oily. Uh, whereas oily going in and nutty on the aftertaste, now it's pepper and spice coming in on the draw a lot of oil but not as much on the aftertaste so i i definitely enjoyed this part of the cigar a lot more than the very beginning and halfway so the cigar is beginning to redeem itself a little bit i still think that it could be better but other than that um I might give this another shot by smoking it uh, immediately. I'm going to be looking into getting a small acrylic humidor by uh, Boveda. I searched those guys up. So once I get more funds here after rent and all that's paid, my birthday is coming up. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, a few cigars here. Right? I don't plan on having 25 cigars at one single sitting. I'm not that kind of guy, right? If I, if I, if I want to smoke a cigar, I can just go to the cigar store and go pick it up, right? There's no difference between buying it there and... And then bring it home and just like, oh, you know, I'm going to let this sit for a minute and then just decide to smoke it later. It's like, well, if I want to smoke, I'm going to go grab a smoke that's already being humidified and, and go from there. So overall, thanks for joining me today uh, to review this uh, 
Uh, again, it was the Tatoue Company. There's the Cabaguan series. This is the Cabaguan Imperials. And it was a Churchill style. It's, to me, it's, it's not a good cigar. I give this a four out of 10 if I could. Um, the cigar is getting a lot better. The smell is getting a lot better. It's getting a little bit more intense. But yeah, it's, it's very mild. Um, and it's, it's medium now towards the end. Not my favorite cigar. Definitely the very short end of my list of favorite cigars I've had so far. But if you guys are interested, there it is. You guys can go check it out. And, and again, it, it took about an hour to smoke this. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining me.